In short, it's great to be Catholic and be able to consume Jesus Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity every single time we approach the altar. So much of the world doesn't get what love is. And for people who have a difficulty with the Eucharist, this is the one component that isn't where it should be. It needs to grow, it needs to expand in their lives. You know, there's a very old maxim in philosophy that says something acts according to its nature. In other words, it acts, what, what it is supposed to be is how it acts. Uh, fish don't uh, crawl up on the ground and walk around like elephants. Rocks don't bark like dogs. Trees don't sit around and write poetry. Uh, you know, this is what it means. You act according to your nature. And it's the same way with God. God does not do something opposed to his nature. As sacred scriptures tell us, and they were written by God, God is love. God is love. This is why Jesus could say, at the Last Supper, to his apostles, the world will hate you because it hated me first. Because the apostles are about bringing the love the love of Christ to the world. Not the way the world wants it, but the way Christ wants it to be. Why does it hate Christ? Because Christ is God and God is love. You know, St. Paul tells us what love is. You know, that famous line from a uh, passage from his first letter to the Corinthians, down towards the end of it, he says, Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. True love does not seek itself, but strives for the sake of the beloved. The world's love seeks its own interests first, always, first and foremost. And in that way, it is not love. It's selfishness disguised under a veneer of emotions and glandular reactions and popular culture as love. But as so many people come to find out, when all of that is spent, you are chalice is empty because there was no love in it to begin with. It was selfishness.